Hey everybody, Coach Roz the Motivator here with a quick video for you. And this is something I can't wait to tell you guys because this is one of the number one tips that I share with my high-end private clients when they're, during the holidays. And it's how do you cheat? Specifically, how do you use cheap meals so that you can stay hot, lean, and fit during the holidays and still enjoy all of that amazing holiday food? I have 10 tips for you and you're gonna get it over my two-part series. I look forward to sharing these with you. But more importantly, just a little warning, these are not opportunities for you just to go crazy. This is not where you're gonna eat everything and think that it's not gonna work. It's strategic. So you're gonna have to be willing and committed to train at least five days a week and all your other meals. You're only gonna have two days throughout the week to cheat. So you're gonna have five days where you gotta eat super clean. If you don't do this properly, you're not gonna get the results you want. Trust me, I've done it with thousands of clients and you could be the next to not only transform your body using these strategies, but more importantly, eat during the holidays and enjoy it. So, strategy number one is do not eat until you're just you're sick. You wanna make sure that you're eating the foods you wanna eat, but eat till you're comfortable. Don't overeat to the point where you're feeling like you're nauseous and you can't move. That is not what cheating is about, especially strategic cheating. And just so you know, if there are foods that you're gonna eat that are going to give you a reaction, don't eat those foods. Here's an example. If you know you're lactose intolerant, why are you gonna eat tons of cheese that are gonna affect your stomach? That is a no-no. Only cheat with foods that you're going to be happy with and your body can adjust. Strategy number two, eat your protein first. Depending on what you're gonna eat and what's the meal breakdown or profile, you wanna make sure that you have your protein on your plate. This is an important factor because of the thermic of food of protein, it's gonna allow you to stay hungry or stay full longer and it's going to help break down and keep your insulin levels managed. Strategy number three is make sure that you have plenty of vegetables, seven to eight servings before you have your cheat meal. This can be done by having a green smoothie early in the morning and then following that up with one after for your second meal. This is important because it's going to help neutralize all of the foods that you're gonna take in that are bad and crappy and also gonna help you push out the ones that you don't wanna consume and turn into fat. Strategy number four is make sure that you have your cheat meal after you've already had one or two meals. The reason for this is that you don't wanna start your day off with something as high and starchy as carbohydrates because it tends to lead to eat overeating and having, instead of a cheat meal, a cheat day, which we're not looking to do with this strategy. Strategy number five, always eat your meals at the table. Don't eat your meals where you're sitting down at the couch or somewhere else. And here's a tip, if you're gonna eat anything, a snack, Make sure that you put it on a plate or a bowl where you know the precise serving size. You don't wanna be eating out of a bag because you wind up overeating and eating more than you 